Whether you call it the winter blues, seasonal affective disorder, or depression, we all tend to feel a little down during the winter months, or perhaps a smaller version of what we once were during the summer. Today we're going to examine why that is and what's actually happening. So the winter months arrive and we all start hiding inside. We may become less physically active and we probably start sleeping longer. But most importantly, we're not getting any UV rays. Most people today know that vitamin D is best attained through sunlight, but did you know that over half the population is vitamin D deficient and never gets diagnosed? That it's directly linked to dementia, depression, cancers, and autoimmune diseases? That it's almost totally absent from our food supply other than a couple foods like fatty fishes? I didn't know any of this until I read Mark Hyman's book, Ultramind Solutions. So what are you supposed to do when 80-100% to 100 of your vitamin D requirements come from the sunlight and winter approaches? I'm a huge fan of getting all your vitamins naturally and eating organic foods, but sometimes it's simply too difficult and I'm not a huge fan of fish in the first place. That's why I recommend getting a vitamin D supplement and I know it's tricky when you're walking through the pharmacy and there's all these different vitamins everywhere and all these labels. So just make sure that you get vitamin D3, not D2, and make sure it's at least 1,000 IU. I try to get around 2,000 a day, but if you are in fact vitamin D deficient like so many others, you may even need more. You gotta chase the sun, and I know it's winter and there's definitely less of it, but that's why I think waking up early is so beneficial because it just gives you more opportunities to absorb vitamin D. And I know that a lot of you are probably like me and work inside, so as soon as I see that sun shining, I literally run outside and try to get as much as I can. At the same time, I know that everyone can't do that, so I at least suggest sitting near a window. Ironically, I had to move because the sun was in my eyes, and honestly, I'm not sure if your body absorbs vitamin D through a window, so if you do know, please let me know in the comment section down below. But what I do know is sitting near a window is much better than sitting in some sort of windowless basement where there's no sunlight, so why not? If you've checked out my channel, then you know I've been obsessed with the Wim Hof method lately, and if you're feeling down during the winter, this can certainly help, or at least give you an appreciation for the cold. It's important to understand that winter is just a part of life. You can't have summer without winter, and you can't have spring without fall. We all get affected by the changes in season, but what's important is that you don't beat yourself up about it. If you need to rest, then rest. If you need to hibernate, then hibernate. Just make sure that you're doing it because it's what's best for you, and not because you're vitamin deficient. I've been vitamin D deficient before, and it sucks. You feel sick all the time, you get headaches, and no matter what you do, you just seem to feel drained of all your energy. So I'm going to post what vitamins I use in the description box down below. But to be honest guys, nothing is going to be as good as just good old fashioned sunlight. Subscribe for new videos every week and thanks for watching. Peace.